Hello beautiful people, do you know that cutting a collar can be quite hard and tricky if you don't know how to go about it, I mean a perfect collar. So in this video, I will be teaching you how to cut and also how to sew a perfect collar. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, click on that like button, click on that subscribe button and let's get started. welcome guys so the first thing we'll be doing is to fold our pattern paper into two that is it is folded then we'll measure our neck measurement let's assume your neck measurement is 16 inches so you divide 16 by 2 which is 8 inches then you just mark it like that then you measure one and quarter inches at this part then you will rule it out Then after from that line, the new line just rolled, you measure 2 inches, then you roll it out again. Then after that, the 8 inches point we mark, we just roll it upward like that. Then you from that point, you measure 1 inches inward. This will serve just serve as a curve so i'm just trying to extend the line upward so from that point now we'll just curve it so i'll just use my french cup to curve you can just use your hand because the hand is and is small is better safe with the hand so you curve it like that then from that point you just roll it straight up straight to the end over there so that's just what you will do so now at this part here you go in by quarter inches this is optional you can leave it like that or you can rule it so you just rule it like that then after ruling, this is what i have this is what it looks like so after then you will cut it so after cutting you will get your fabric but before i continue i like to put like a stay on my fabric especially if i'm using a fabric that is not stable let's say like chevron silk i have i love adding stay paper stay or stay to it so then i will fold like this then i'll fold into four just to cut the color you know the color you cut you it will be two two of the pattern and notice and note that we haven't added our sewing allowance to this color so you will have everything on this fabric now so you just fold like this that means we are cutting two together just like that so after folding and cutting this is what i have so i added half inch all around i hope you can see it's like half inch all around the lower part over there the corner everywhere so i added half inch so that will serve as my sewing allowance so now this is what we have so you take one of this color then you add your stay to it there is a color stay which can be added to it so depending if you want to you cut a vintage it's not compulsory you add this color stay you can just add another paper stay to it just to double it so in case you want your color to stand you had this paper stay to it and this is how you will add it to it i always iron before cutting i will iron the paper stay with the fabric before i now cut it out so this is how this is what it looks like and you can see that i left half inch at the lower part over there so that half inch will serve as the turning because i don't want the paper stay you know it's thick i don't want it to get to the lower part so now the next thing i'll be doing now is to join this so i went ahead to join it with the same allowance i added then i'll be notching those corners those corners you know those corners if you don't notch it they will not turn so i'll be notching those color those corners <laughs> sorry i'll be notching those corners then i'll be turning this after turning it make sure to give it a good press so that it can look it can look really nice so as you can see this is what i have so after after that you just measure your neck measurement to be sure if you are still on the right track so this is my shirt which i've been sewing before so i'll just go ahead now and fold the neckline together just like this then i will notch the back the back 
that is the back just to know the neckline divided by two so that to know where i'll be placing the collar so i'll just notch the back of the shirt just like that then i'll also locate the midpoint of this collar using a shock i won't be notching this i'll just be using a, a shock to rule a line on that point so i'll be fixing i'll be fixing the notching and the mark on the collar i'll be placing them just together like this just half inch inward half inch inward and then i will pin please it is very important that you pin this down so that when you are sewing you just so straight you don't have to worry if it is rhyme if it is correct or not so if you pin it everything will just be okay everything will rhyme and you just all you just need to do is just to sew it down so that's what i did here i pin every part of it so even with the pinning that is how you will know if the color is the same thing as the neckline of the shirt so this is what i have after pinning then i'll just go ahead and sew the straight line so then i will sew all the corners like that then i'll just demarcate it you know we measured one and quarter inch before so i'll just measure it back so that i can sew so that when i'm ironing i can follow the line so iron it so i'll just mark it one and quarter like that then i'll connect the line with the straight line then i'll connect it like this so i will go ahead and sew so after sewing this is what i have this is what it looks like and i'll just remove my pin and our collar is ready so the next thing you just have to do is just to iron this you fold it then you iron it and your collar is ready it is very easy very very easy all you just need to do is to fold it and your collar is ready So this is the collar on the shirt as you can see it is standing if you want your collar to stand this is the method you should use so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing for liking for sharing for commenting i'll see you in my next video bye